Hi, I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens and today I'm coming to you from my kitchen and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to replace the quartz sleeve to an aqua ultraviolet 2 inch plastic Viper 400 watt ultraviolet light. It's super easy. Check this out. So we went ahead and we took the liberty of uh, removing this UV from the system so I can bring it inside and show you how to replace this. This is really super easy. When we removed it outside though, we did take off the flow control switch so we can take that out and inspect it for servicing. So normally you're not going to do this. The flow control switch, when you open up the two screws on the transformer panel, there's a black wire and there's a white wire and you just simply unplug those two wires and you'll be able to remove the unit if you feel like you need to do so. Most of the time you're just gonna do this as a field repair with everything connected, with your plumbing still connected and uh, the only thing you're gonna have to do is deal with this. So when you unscrew this, you'll see on the inside that there is an O-ring, okay? See that O-ring right there. I'm just going to go ahead and pop it out. You want to inspect this O-ring, make sure that there's no cracks or anything like that, and you want to clean it. And when you put it back together again, it goes right in super easy. The purpose of the O-ring is so that you do not have to use any kind of Teflon tape over here. The seal is made by the O-ring, not by any kind of Teflon tape. So do not ever tape these things when you put them back together again. So what we want to do is you just want to very simply drop that O-ring in. And we want to tighten this guy here down. And we want this to be hand tight, okay? Um, I'm not a big fan of taking a channel lock here and tightening this thing down because the problem with that is is that if you over tighten this then you can crush that o-ring the o-ring can slip on the inside so we're going to go ahead and replace this one here with what you're going to see out of the package so out of the package here you're going to open it up and you'll see two new um, rubber gaskets here two o-rings and i'll show you where these o-rings go in a minute and i'm also going to show you how to line these things up it's actually really simple So here's the new quart sleeve, and as you can see, it's perfectly clean. And basically all we want to do is we want to slide it in one side. Notice I don't have the rubber gaskets. Now I like to use my finger to kind of guide it, and you'll see it slides really easily through to the other side. You want to remove any kind of debris that might collect. Looks like I got just a little bit here on the inside, I'm just going to clean that up. By the way, don't use your good white towels like I am over here. Your wife's going to kill you. And my wife doesn't watch my YouTube channel that much, so she'll never know. Don't reuse the old rubber gaskets that were um, in your unit. Uh, these things are just meant to be thrown into the trash. That's why they give you brand new ones. So it, even if they look like they're good, they're not. Uh, once they get exposed to UV light, they like to kind of conform to a shape. And you can see this one right over here is all, you know, kind of nasty on the inside. So this is absolutely trash, okay? We're going to use the two brand new ones that came with a quartz sleeve. And all we're going to do is we're just going to slip them over both sides, okay? And then uh, we're going to continue to make sure that we're lined up on both sides here as well. So as you can see... I've got maybe about a quarter of an inch here and the same on the other side maybe about another quarter of an inch here and now the idea is is to get the quartz sleeve to go down the center of this cap and that's why I like to take and use my finger as a guide on the one side which will help line up the other side as it screws down and I'm really watching carefully to make sure that I don't clamp down and cause a repeat of what happened over here. So I wanna show you what's already starting to happen on the inside. And as I start to screw this in, you can see in the upper right-hand corner of the quartz sleeve how there's a little bit of a gap and in the bottom corner, 
it's pushing against it. This is exactly how you're gonna crack it. This is a major, major pro tip, and this is why I'm showing you, this is the entire thrust behind this whole video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my finger inside that quart sleeve, and I'm just gonna help guide it through so that it doesn't crack. So this guy's fighting me just a little bit, and I'm having a hard time getting him through. And if you look closely on the inside, there's a couple of little small burrs of plastic that are fighting us here. I'll try see if I can get this to focus in right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this white cap off, and it also needs to be perfectly smooth on the inside. And I'm gonna show you what's hanging us up and what's messing us up here. So this should not be happening. So if you look on the inside of this cap here, you see there's some burrs that are hanging down. So I'm just gonna go and scrape those guys off and that will help this quartz sleeve slide in perfectly. Now, um, ordinarily I'm gonna recommend that you just replace these caps, but if you don't have access to these replacement caps, then um, first things first, try to make do with what you have. So I just basically use the small screwdriver here and I just kind of clean those burrs out. And now that's all nice and smooth. Okay, after cleaning those burrs out, this guy here, he just slid in absolutely perfectly. And if you look inside, you can see that the quart sleeve, I'll just use my screwdriver here to point out. You'll see my quart sleeve is inside the cap here. And that's what we want from the other side over here. We wanna make sure that these guys are about equally distanced. So when I compress down on this, uh, this rubber gasket over here, it's going to kind of give us about the same. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and get this other side here started. You can see how easy this is. I'm not using any Teflon tape. Again, no Teflon tape here, no Teflon tape here. And I'm just very simply one-handed threading. Remember, the tighter this is, the harder it is to adjust that. And you should be able to, with two fingers, be able to very easily manipulate that right into the center and feel it. Okay, so now I've been able to adjust that sleeve on both sides. So there's this side here. And there's this side here. And as I continue to tighten these guys down, on both sides, then that's gonna bring it into each other. Again, this is hand tight. We don't wanna over tighten it because if you over tighten it, you're gonna end up with another crack like we have over here. So this is a really simple part right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and hand tighten things down. Okay, so both sides are hand tightened down. And as you can see, we're lined up about maybe um, a quarter of an inch on this side over here. Maybe a little bit more on this side over here, but that's a close enough, okay? So that's all there really is to doing this. Now you're gonna, you may wonder, what do we do with these little O-rings here? So after I have these guys tightened down one on each end and I'm just making them hand tight, the very last thing I need to do is I need to install this O-ring right over here. And this O-ring just very simply sits over the end of the quartz sleeve, okay? And as the last thing that you do, so the reason why I like to get this centered in, in place and tightened down, at least on one end, is it allows it to not slide as I put it back on. So this is a very simple part. And now at this point here, moving forward, again, I'm just checking the inside, making sure that we're not pushing against the court sleeve. We're not. And I just want to take a look inside, again, just to make sure that we're not pushing down against it. So as you can see, we're absolutely sliding right over. And this is a really easy part here. I've already done this side over here, so um, no need to question the video. And that's really all there is to it. We do not want to over tighten this. Over tightening is a really, really bad idea. But again, we do want to inspect our work as we go. This is a very expensive unit and we don't wanna have any leaks. Now, there's one last thing I wanna talk about is this. Um, it's a major no-no to be touching these quart sleeves with, uh, with your hands because you can leave smudges and so on and so forth, and those smudges could affect um, 
the, there's actually a tremendous amount of heat. 400 watts is a lot. So the very last thing I like to do is, it's just in the inside area here where I've been touching it, is I just want to hit it with a paper towel and just kind of give it a wipe before I put this thing back together. So now we are perfectly lined up on both sides. You've got to be freaking kidding me. I don't know what happened. You really just saw that happen. I have absolutely no idea what went wrong here. Oh boy. So there's definitely something wrong here. And I'm going to have to take it over to Aqua Ultraviolet and I'm pretty sure it has something to do with this end cap over here. So I'm gonna go take this over there to them and I'm gonna get this done. Hey, not every how-to video goes right. And this is one of the reasons why people tune in and subscribe to my channel because I'm real, I'm raw, and I'm honest with my videos. So something definitely went wrong. And fortunately for me, I'm in Southern California and I'm gonna be able to jam down to Aquaculture Violet, take them, show them this problem, let them see what went wrong and see how they're gonna help us fix this problem so it doesn't happen again. So in the next video right up here, you're gonna see us visiting Aqua Ultraviolet. We're gonna go ahead and figure out what went wrong and we're gonna show you in the next video. But if you have any suggestions, if you have any guesses what went wrong, leave your comments down below. I definitely wanna hear from you. So I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens and I'm here to remind you that not every how-to video goes right. Happy ponding.